And because that his people came back to him and atoned their sin, their salvation is soon to come. And the day of revenge arrived. His servants, the great angels, they're asking the master of all universe, why your cloaks are covered with blood? Like the verse is saying, Madua Adom Lilvoshech. Why your royal garments are red from blood? They were white when you went out for the war. So the maker of the universe is answering them. I had a small winery that was exist from the beginning. I went myself and I walked all over the grapes. I made wine. And they're telling him when that time will take place. And he's answering in the day of Gog Umagog. And then the maker of the universe is gathering all the people of Israel from all their exile to Yerushalayim. Oh, to Yerushalayim. I thought Yerushalayim is the capital of Palestine. What's going on here? Suddenly we see that Rabbi Akiva disagree. Okay, so Yerushalayim is the capital of Israel. I didn't know. I watched the news and they told us in the news that Yerushalayim is the original capital of the Plishtim. Oh, Ribbona Olami. Heal the world. That's what we want. A better world. A world with no lie a world with no fake news, a world with no fake identities. Oh, we are Palestinians. Palestine was before Israel. We hope that the world will wake up to sanity, to truth, before it's going to be too late. Because like we read one moment ago, that when Hashem go on that ride of war, He's not turning his face away. He's not looking back before he kills all the enemies of his people, no matter who they are and which colorful flag they're waving. I want to read the treasure of Midrashim that was written by the sages of the Palestinians 2,000 years ago. I wonder where those scripts are. Yeah, maybe in the Walt Disney archives in Orlando, where all the illusions of the world are being made. May the maker of the world protect you, heal you, support you, stabilize and establish your faith for it never to be shaken. And don't worry. In that time of justice, the maker of the universe will fight for us because the day of revenge is the day of Hashem. And Hashem himself is El Nekamot Adonai, El Nekamot Hofia. He is the God of revenge, the God that will finally avenge all our enemies like a storm that is a consuming fire, burning and taking all the trash away and leaving fresh ground, free land to the children of Israel for them to take their place in the kingship of Hashem.